What's up everybody? Welcome to my show, My Personal Chef, where I'm your personal chef, my chef QT. Today on the show, I'm cooking up another of my favorite dish, air drop soup. Have you been to that Chinese restaurant and wonder how they make it? Well, today is your lucky day. I'm about to show you. But before I get started, I'm going to wash my hands. Before I get started on my air drop soup, I'm about to show you how to make my ginger water. I have some fresh ginger root I got from my uh, grocery store in the produce department. I'm just going to slice up about 12 pieces and put it in this hot water that is one cup. So I'm going to get started. You want about this, this size. Ginger smells so good, by the way. Now we're about to get these little slices and put it in this hot water. We're going to let this ginger steep in this water for about 45 minutes until the water turns a light um, yellow color. Just like that. After about 45 minutes, this is how your ginger water should look. So now they get started on the third part of the dish, the air dry soup. So in this pot over medium high heat, I'm going to add in my ginger water, my chicken stock, and my sesame seed oil, and some little chicken seasoning. So let's go. Add in my ginger water, my sesame seed, and the chicken. We're going to bring this up to a boil and then reduce it down to a simmer. So now they get started on separating the yolks from the white. You're going to need two eggs. You want to crack the egg on the side of the bowl. It. Open up the shell. Just lift up and down, up and down until the white just fall into the bowl. I remember when I went to the Chinese restaurant and I ordered some air dry soup. Oh, I ordered like three bowls of it and I chilled it all down. So that's what inspired me to make air dry soup. So I went home and I figured out how to make it. So now I'm about to show you. We're just gonna beat this egg up very, very, very well. Just like that. Now that my water has been simmering, we're going to make a slurry. I have some cornstarch and I have some water. I want to mix all the two together. So let's go. We're gonna give it a good little stir. Just like that. Now we are going to pour into our hot liquid. If you sit up here and you um, don't make a slurry and you just pour your cornstarch in here, you want to have lumps, and you're not going to be pretty. I always want to make a slurry when you um, use a cornstarch. Just like that. If you get like a little bit of lumps in your air drop suit, don't worry about it. Don't fall down and break your neck. I'm about to show you how to strain. Just get the soup and pour it in a little strainer. It, lift it up, you're good to go. Now we're going to pour this back into the pot. That is so easy, wasn't it? Now we're about to add our being an egg to our hot liquid. But before you add your egg to your hot um, liquid, you want to make sure you turn your stove completely off because if you don't, you have scrambled eggs. 
So now, let's get started. I'm going to beat our egg up again. Just like that. We're about to slowly pour it inside our alligators. Just like that. Slowly um, stir your fork, fork around. Now, we're about to add in our scallions. Give it a good little stir. There we go. I'm going to taste it just to make sure it might need some salt and pepper too. I'm going to give it a little taste. It's good on the seasoning, it's perfect. So. It's done good. So now they get started on the wonton chips. I have about a stack of seven of wonton wrappers. I want to cut this up into little strips. About this size right here. Um, you can find these wonton wrappers in the uh, grocery store in the Asian aisle. We're gonna place them on, on this little platter, spread them around. Then we're about to fry them up to a nice going brown crisp. Now that my wonton wrappers have been sliced up to perfection, we're going to fry this in my oil at 325 degrees for about 45 seconds. If you fry even more, they will burn and snap your finger. <laughs> so now we're going to add this to the oil. Give it a good little stir. So now, you see how they are nice and golden brown? We're going to take them off the pan and place them on the pepper sour to drain off the excess oil. Whenever you fry something, you always want to make sure you put some salt on it to give it a little bit of flavor. I'm going to try a little bit. So now, let's take this dish. Man, I can't wait to try this dish. I'll see. Pour it in my little bowl right now. Oh, it looks so good. Put up my little chips on top. My little spoon. Now, I like to put a little bit of more scallions on top of mine. You don't have to if you don't want to, but I'm going all in. Oh, can't wait to try. Oh, that's good. Oh, that's good. Oh, that's good. That is good. I'm going to eat some more. Mm. You really taste chips, the um, ginger, the onions, the egg, oh it's so good. Mm. The scallions give it that little extra little crunch at the end. If you like any of these recipes, log on to youtube.com, type in 4596 Thomas and look at the videos. Order my cooking book, My Personal Chef at Amazon.com and Hotdogs.com. Thank you for watching the show.